Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. So for today I've got a very exciting video for you all. So I'm going to be reviewing the new palette from Krypton Cosmetics which is a new indie brand and also share with you all the new single shadow that they are launching which is called Fairyland. So if you want to hear my thoughts on the new indie brand, if you want to see some looks, swatches, close-ups, all the things, then please stick around for today's video and make sure you are subscribed before leaving today. First things first, I want to show you some close-ups of the palette and this single shadow and read you all some information regarding the launch. The name of the palette is Burnt Forest. It's going to retail for $59 and the launch date is going to be February 16th at 12 p.m. EST and it says that this palette is going to be very limited to celebrate their first launch, they're also going to let you use the code CELEBRATE in order to get free international shipping. And they're going to start shipping orders on February 18th. Their normal discount code is KC10. The single shadow that they are launching, it's called Fairyland, and it's going to retail for $18, and it's going to be launching at the same time, same date as the eyeshadow palette, and also this one is very limited as well, and it says that you can actually use the code FAIRYLAND10 to save 10% off, and you can stack that code with CELEBRATE in case you are wanting to get both items, that you can stack the codes. I absolutely love the packaging for the eyeshadow palette and also I really enjoy that you get six mattes and six shimmers. I really do enjoy that ratio. It's just split down the even, really nice mix. I think the color story is so beautiful and earthy. I immediately, whenever I saw this brand be revealed, I was losing my mind because I thought that the packaging and the color story and just the aesthetic, the name, everything was so appealing to me. And I am so, so grateful that they sent this over to me. I was going to buy it regardless. So, so they did send me the eyeshadow palette in PR and then I purchased the single shadow on my own. So I'm very, very excited to test out the quality. The swatches really did just blow me away. They look so beautiful and special and shifty and sparkly. Everything that I look for in a eyeshadow. So I'm going to zoom you in and let's create look number one. Before I forget, I wanted to mention that the palette is magnetic. So win-win there. Also, it came wrapped very, very nicely with a ton of bubble wrap. It came in a box with lots of things to protect it as well. And the box that it comes in, it just comes in this black one right here in case you were curious. So as far as the look, I have no idea what I want to do. I don't even know how many looks I'm going to do, but we're going to do a few. I don't know how many yet, but it depends on my kids and how long they take a nap. There's something about this packaging that I absolutely love the texture. It makes me think of like a raft, like, you know, you float on in a pool or something. I don't know. I just really enjoy this. Okay, let's dive in. Holy moly, I have no idea which one I want to use first. This one is just like these two. It's like, boom. It's like, come put me on your eye right now. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this one and this one for look one and two because those are the two that I cannot stop looking at. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, let me see, I'm just going to start putting some mattes on my eyes. So I wanna go in with, it's that germ, this white right here, right here, and just kind of fluff it around and set what we have going on a little, just to try it out. Normally, I don't really set my lids, but why not? You know what I mean? Just to try it out, and I'll also utilize it more Whenever I was swatching that shade, you can build it up really, really nicely because, or you could just like dust it off like this, but it does pack a punch the more you layer it. I want to go in with transition. It just seems fitting. So that's what we're going to do. Do you see that? It just looks like it's glowing. I cannot wait to get that baby on my eyes in just a minute. And let's go ahead and pop transition in my crease. I love the undertone of this brown. It's one of my favorite shades. It's not warm, it's not cool, it's just like that perfect neutral shade that really complements my skin tone for me. I don't know, it's just something about a shade like this that gets me excited every single time. And I'm going to pop moss on, and then I'll probably add some more mattes as we go. They do recommend you use eyeshadow base, just, you know, so the shadows look their best, but I'm just going in with my finger... I just want to see what it looks like first dip without anything to help it, you know? It is so pretty. I'm going to mix the two greens that we have going on and just put that on the outer corner and also put that on the lower lash line. Let's see how, ooh, this lighter green, it's so 
it's so pretty and I'm gonna go in with the darker green and just kind of pop it out here so far I'm enjoying the mattes they seem very buildable and easy to blend out like they're not too pigmented right at the beginning like first dip that's something I really enjoy for the inner corner I'm gonna try to use Dawn there's so many multi-chromes in this palette they they're just so pretty this one's thin it's not as textured as moss so I think it would make it just look at that it's so bright and beautiful so I'm just going to kind of brighten things up and then we'll go ahead and start on the next look so for this one over here, I have to go in with Wildfire. This is the one that really caught my attention. It just looks very, obviously, fiery, warm tone, bright, and beautiful. And also, it has a black base, so I like that you can pair it with the black if you want, like, super deep and smoky. We're just going to go in. This is red, green, yellow, gold. Like, there's just so much going on with this multi-chrome. It's so pretty, and I just want this to be really, you know, the star of the show. So I'm going to layer it all over my lid and we'll go from there all right i want to go in with soil the brown and then i'll do a little bit of the black but first i want to try out this brown and then i'll kind of work my way once i get some confidence and go in with the black but i really wanted to pop in this brown first pop it into transition and mixing the lighter brown and darker brown underneath the lower lash line I'm popping into black hole just a dot and I'm going to deepen it up just a little bit and just make sure that all the mattes are layering on one another very nicely. But so far, so good. This is just some of my favorite formulas. It's when mattes are buildable and they don't blend away. They just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm really enjoying this formula. You know how like a Pat McGrath, you dip into it and it's like you could do your whole, like both eyes. I don't really like mattes that are that pigmented. I'm just, I need a beginner matte, you know, and I think these are just perfect. Here's another shimmer. I'm going to go in with this one right here. Oh, right there. And just see how that looks. It's really, oh my gosh, they're all just so pretty. Just to kind of broaden it up a little bit. Oh, it's so pretty. And there's like a, it's like an icy blue. So pretty. Okay, so all I did off camera, I added the shade Rich Brown from Melt in my waterline. And I wanted both of them to match. I'm loving these looks. So this is look number one. I just wanted a fiery, pinky, red, green, just, I'm in love. I really am. And then here is look number two. I'm equally loving this one as well. This just gives me like the vibes of the palette. When I think of burnt forest, this is what I get. So now I'm going to turn down the brightness. Okay, here we have them. Oh my goodness. I love them. They're so pretty. I'm going to get my mirror so you can see the shift. I feel like this one you don't even need it. Like you already see that pink and green shift very, it's very apparent. And then this one, let me, my mirror is always dirty. Let me just kind of show you, like, yeah, you see it. Oh my goodness, it's how pretty. Let me swatch the two, um, the, the main ones that I used. Wildfire and then Moss. Very light, I barely took like tapped in because obviously I don't want to use my shadows up for swatches this is just a very soft dip and you get lots of pigment they're so pretty so now I'm going to come back and create two more looks okay it looks like I'm only going to be able to have time to do one more look but that's okay because I've already used every single matte in the palette so I think that's pretty good I need to play with some of the blue shimmers now because I've used every shade except for this one and then this one so we'll we'll work with some of these i'm gonna go in first i already went into uh germ the white and i just kind of set what we have going on i want to first go in with starry sky this one is really pretty it's like a deep navy with like golden mixtures in there it's so pretty i like the pattern and it's not just like an overspray i noticed that it's like all the way through because whenever i was swatching it i made sure to check where did i put my mirror okay let's go in with starry sky first and i'm gonna put that on the outer half real quick the shade is so pretty i like that they added the blues you know i wouldn't think of blues but I don't know it's a nice touch to the palette I'm gonna blend that out with transition which is the lighter brown before I pop into another shimmer there's something about blues and browns that just get me excited going into lake the bright blue in the palette 
and just layering this i noticed that whenever i swatched it it almost had like a green base so i like that above it you get a green because these two would be honestly beautiful once you get it all blended out i know that those two together would be such a beautiful look I'm just going to mesh those into one another. I was blending those two out with the shade Transition. Again, it's like the perfect shade in the palette to just blend out everything. Now I'm going to go in with the deeper brown and add that to the outer corner. You know whenever you try a palette and you're just like, you're going to be a favorite? That's kind of the vibes I'm getting with this one. It's pretty much love at first sight. So far, it work, it's, everything's going good. Whenever I was looking at the mats, I was kind of surprised there wasn't... What was that? Did y'all hear that? It was like a, a bomb or something. <laughs> like, I live in the country and people hunt and that just scared me. Um, okay. I don't even know. Oh yeah, I was saying, sorry. That just completely threw me off. I was very surprised that there wasn't a navy in the palette whenever I kind of started swatching them and seeing how many shades were like blue leaning. But honestly, whenever you layer the dark brown over the blues, you get a nice navy appearance. It's like, I don't know, there's something about the blues and the browns that are very complimentary. So if you were kind of hesitant based off not having a blue matte because there's blue shimmers, just know that the browns honestly just complement them very nicely now i'm wanting to go in with this one up here this is a little bit of a brighter blue and i just want to like put that on the lid just add a little bit of sparkle because this base is almost translucent and it's just going to make the lids look wet and dewy and just like luminous and reflective and it has like a hint of purple under like shift like i don't even know there's just so much going on with these shimmers they're very beautiful Hopefully I'm able to capture them with like my swatches and pictures because I haven't seen anything that I've taken yet. So far, I'm loving it. Now, I want to do moss because it's got that fiery aspect and I'm just going to like dabble these two on top just a little bit to add some red to it and then I think that will be everything. First, I'm going to go in with moss over here. Just, I mean, just a little bit. Oh, there's a dog here. <laughs> and just kind of place that right on top and then on the other side i want to go in with the orange just to kind of see which one i like better and just a touch i don't want to add too much of this one because i don't want it to shift so i think i like moss better with the blue okay so that's what we're gonna do i'm gonna go in with the moss and just top this off and then i'll be back to show you the finished look Okay, so this is the finished look. I wanted to kind of make it more grungy and deeper brown. So I went ahead and like smoked out the lower lash line. And this is everything. I absolutely love how it came out. So now I want to turn down the brightness. Okay, so here we have it under low lighting. I'm telling you. Oh, they're so pretty and sparkly. For funsies, I want to top the single shadow on. Like, why not? We're already here. And let's see what, what let's see what it's about. Um, might as well. I was going to do another look with just this, but my kiddos, they're not, it's, they're not going to have it. So let's just top it on and see what we get. Lots and lots of sparkle. If you hear my neighbor's dog barking, I apologize. It is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it. Wow. How pretty is that shade? Let's just keep layering it. I cannot wait to wear this one all on its own. Just swatch it since I didn't get to play with it. I know y'all have y'all are gonna see swatches already, but it's so pretty. I'm not like a single shadow collector. I just get some here and there, but I wanted to support their first launch, so I had to pick this one up. How pretty! And it does reflect till, so you can definitely see that in the mirror. It is so beautiful. Anyways, so now I'm going to zoom you out and let me go over my thoughts on the new palette. Okay guys, so let me go over my thoughts with the new Krypton palette. I love the packaging. I think it's just so beautiful. I love the size, the shape, everything about it. The color story speaks to my soul. I love that it's earthy, kind of a little grungy. It's just like there's something for everyone in here. You can get super daytime looks, smoky, deep, grungy, just 
you name it. It is just like a delicious color story. The matte formulation, it is so, it's blendable and buildable. It's everything that I personally look for in a matte formula. The shimmers in here are lovely. There's not a mix of textures. Moss is the more textured one. It's a little bit soft and squishy, but it still blends out beautifully. The others in here are pretty smooth. This one's a little bit textured, but in a good way. So I like the mix in here. There's something for everyone. I like the fact that they just, oh, they checked all the boxes. It's super light to super deep. Even with the shimmers in here, there's just something about this palette that man just stood out. Like, you know, when you use a palette and you're like, okay, you're going to be a favorite. Like I'm going to keep reaching for this. I'm not just going to put it in my collection and be like, okay, I'll see you next year. Like I'm going to use this all the time so first impressions amazing and also this single i think it's absolutely it's a beautiful shade i think everyone can use it it's going to look flattering on so many people like you just can't mess this shade up it just it looks perfect and i really did want to support their first launch and buy that single and man i'm telling you so I, i've had a few questions like what is it similar to honestly like obviously like glam and Atrus, it looks very similar as far as like packaging it's the si same size and shape and aesthetic and but as far as like the formulation i must say that the mattes do remind me of one another the way that you can like build them up but they're still soft and buttery and beautiful i don't know there's just something about the mattes and obviously the size of the shape but or size of the pans but the mattes in here they're just they're similar they're similar in formulation and the, even the shimmers they kind of like the nice mix of textures just the way they feel for the most part they do remind me of one another also pulled out my sugar and spice palette because I do like the way these shimmers feel I kind of get the same vibes with the Krypton palette so I did want to mention that but Burnt Forest has my heart y'all please let me know down below are you going to pick this one up is it going on your wish list are you just kind of like seeing the reviews because it's a new brand seeing how it how it goes but their first launch blew me away i love the way it came packaged i just love the way they performed i just i knew like you can just see a palette and you're like it's a good palette so i'm just i'm happy to report back that it's a nice one they did the thing they did it but that's gonna do it for today's video wherever you are in the world i hope you're doing well i hope that you are healthy happy and safe stay beautiful bye guys